Hey YouTube, Mr. Rampro here, and I've got a little bit of a different review here today. This is going to be on a phone case. I use a um, BlackBerry Curve uh, 8330 or something like that is the model number. Um, this is my primary cell phone, so I wanted to get a case for it that would be good for my EDC system, would be good for just overall in general for use at work, at home, uh, wherever I wanted to go, and I wanted it with a good sturdy clip and all that stuff. So I tried this Casemate case here, and you can see back there on the back there what it's supposed to do. There's your BlackBerry, there's the outside case, and it rides with your screen towards the back. So really good design. You're only going to have your camera and your little uh, light LED exposed, so not too bad, you know move that off to the side just regular standard packaging I might refer to it here um, but we'll get to that if we need it let's see here now here we've got the belt, belt clip part you do have 360 degree rotation so you can clip it on your belt any angle usually I'll clip it on my right side at a slight angle make it easier to pull in and out and no real problems with it falling out or anything like that um, while carrying it my main um, Let's see, my main problem with it is the fact that there are things falling apart after two weeks of having it and using it. So it's actually tearing up from sliding in and out of its own case. So you got this cheap, like, pleather coating that I didn't pay attention to when I first bought it. And it kind of ticks me off because as I use it, it slides in and out, tears up this case, and you can see the little crappy fabric underneath it. So I'll go ahead and put my BlackBerry in it. There's my phone here. Um... Not a bad phone at all. Not the best, but it's all right for now. So we got it in the case. You know, usually uh, it'll stay in this here, kind of shock resistant. Not too, not too great, but um, I have dropped it a couple of times and nothing really happened to the BlackBerry. The back hadn't popped off, obviously, or anything like that. So that's pretty cool, and it gives you an overall a pretty good coverage area over your phone. And with this kit, you do get a. Let's see if I can get it out of there. A screen protector, like a little plastic sleeve, and a cleaning rag, and a uh, little plastic thing over your screen, and you're good to go. I didn't use that. I'm using another product now. But um, anyways, riding, not too bad. Like I said, doesn't fall out. Everything's good to go. The only problem I have with it, mainly, is the fact that it's tearing up here on the edges, you know, after having it two weeks and using it, and that it's ridiculously hard to get your phone back out if you need to. So that's kind of unfortunate. Um, I'm doing also doing this at a weird angle with the camera tripod right in front of me. I can get it, but I'm constantly pushing these buttons here on the side and I'm uh, putting a lot of pressure down here on the phone. So that's not really cool in my book. Um, I do notice that with the hard plastic covers that clip on, my back piece here was getting all scratched up from the plastic clip on one riding against the actual case of the phone itself. So. That's kind of crappy, but overall, not a terrible case. I like the design. I hate the material. So I want to just make this quick video just to uh, keep you from spending the 35 bucks on this case because I spent a little more expecting that it would last and stuff like that, but this thing wasn't designed very well with materials in mind. Carrying and all that stuff, great, but uh, materials, just crappy, kind of shoddy. So that sucks. Just letting you know to uh, be wary and hopefully... You won't buy this product because I didn't think it was very well. I've got another one ordered, and uh, that'll be a surprise, and I'll show it to you guys when it gets here. Thanks a lot for watching.